What's up with it? White Boy Radio back with another one. On this video, man, I want to speak to you about a conversation I have with Mr. Wells about his incarceration and uh, also about the timeline of events with his daughter that's missing Summer Wells. Two different subjects. And before I speak about the subjects, um, look, man, um, I don't know what your thoughts are on the gentleman. You either, if you're here watching this video, you either support that family in, in a whole or you are an advocate and you are, have an interest for summer, but have a very distasteful taste in your mouth for the parents. You're either one of the two is what I kind of uh, see what's happening on YouTube. So I'm not trying to win you over on his personality. I'm not trying to win you over on the man himself. What I'm trying to do with this whole process is bring some clarity and uh, try to clear some of these smears that have happened on YouTube. It's no surprise here that people have taken um, incidents in his personal life and expanded and exaggerated them on YouTube to paint a certain narrative to get people to look at them distasteful. An example of this would be uh, an ad something that he admitted that happened when he was a young boy in his family with family members uh, being truthful. He admitted that. As an adult, he admitted what happened as when he was a kid. Um, what happens is people will then take that and run with it and even make the man a pedo, okay? No one on YouTube can show you a any paperwork that's making him a pedo or a sexual offender. You, you won't see that on YouTube. You won't see any 1994 CPS claims. You won't see that. You will hear a lot of rumors, but you don't have any anything to back it up. It's just lives that are created to draw income and to further drive the narrative, okay? A lot of smears on the entire family, and I'm just talking about Don Wells, not even his wife or anything else besides that. But needless to say that I got it out of the way. Look, talk to the man about incarceration, because a lot of you know I've been incarcerated before. So this is a subject I can really feel him on. And back to the whole, you'll never show me uh, paperwork making him a sexual offender, but he's smeared as that on YouTube for some reason. When it boils down to incarceration, that's when I can really understand him and see eye to eye. And when, when I'm speaking to him, I know off the top that no one can produce that because where he was housed when he was in incarceration, when he was incarcerated. And the only people that don't understand that is people who have also done time, who will understand the system, or maybe a correction officer or something like that. Okay. Uh, Darwell's just like. A lot of uh, sometimes you hear this when on I see this on not Vlad but uh, Say Cheese TV when he interviews rappers. Some people with fame, either they're like a local celebrity, whether it's regarding a case like Don Wells or even rappers that, that have a big name, when they go to jail, they get incarcerated. It's not a choice of theirs if they want to go to Gen Pop or not. It's not a choice. The, the institution will make the choice for them and automatically house them, you know, in, in confinement, which sucks because usually on the flip side of things, a normal inmate, when you go to jail, you have the luxury of watching TV, conversating with other inmates, playing poker, playing cards, doing push-ups in the day room, going out to rec, get ordering canteen, many little tiny single freedoms that you have as an inmate, they're all taken because when you break the rules inside of jail, you go to confinement. Unfortunately for Don Wells, because this is a small town, because it's all over the media and geez, what happened to social media, they had to make the decision for him to go to confinement. His whole stay, I believe it was just over nine months or whatever it was, in confinement the entire time. You know, um, I personally never did nine months in, conf in confinement. I did, uh, when I was incarcerated, I did, I went back to confinement for breaking the rules for 
30 days I got sentenced. And then when I was back there, uh, the officers kind of did something to me. I've told this story on my channel way, way long time ago. They kept me back there longer than 30 days because I disrespected staff. So the sergeant that I disrespected to go back there originally put a hit on me in a sense to where I got 30 days, but another sergeant back there was just giving me DRs for no reason. So I essentially stayed back there for a little bit over 60 days. Okay? That was like living hell, living hell. Um, I've spoke about this on my channel before, very outspoken about it. I believe confinement, this type of confinement, should be not, it should be illegal because it'll mess with your head. Uh, it really will mess with your head. You know, give you an example. Uh, back there for the 60 days, I had took the toilet, the toilet paper roll and took a pen and made a uh, Wilson. You ever see the Tom Hanks movie with Wilson? I made, I was talking to the toilet paper roll. Okay? It's extremely boring. Uh, you have nothing to do. You have none of those simple luxuries that I was just saying, nothing. And they're very strict with books back there. You have to get books illegally. You have to fish for them. You have to get a hookup with a runaround or something like that. Very, very, very difficult to get even reading material. Your choice of reading material is literally letters that you receive in the mail, a Bible, or you can correspond with some type of chaplains, Bible studies. If you, if you do a Bible study and mail it out, they'll score it. They'll tell you how you did stuff like that. And uh, of course, writing letters costs money. You have to have stamps, envelopes, all that. It's not as, uh, it, it, it's the prison underneath the prison to make it in, simple terms. And it's uh it's hell. It's hell. Again, I think it should be illegal. But what else what's the alternative for inmates that are acting up, for inmates that are breaking the rules? What's the alternative? They have to have something to straighten you up, have to have something to get you back to follow the rules. So there is no alternative. But that was my experience, okay? Don Wells didn't break the rules. Walks into jail because of his I guess I don't want to say celebrity uh name but because it's a big name thing locally and it's all over social media he's thrown in there man when you're in confinement you have no choice but to reflect on your life you have no choice but to think that you don't get much else to do but think about everything and it's uh it's uh a psychological roller coaster because you're overthinking things and running things back in your head that you shouldn't be thinking about. You're thinking about, you're, you're almost imagining thoughts to happen that are your worst case scenarios. You're running them out over and over in your head repeatedly, almost you want it to be in existence for the simple fact that you have nothing else to do. Nothing else to do, it's, it's living hell. It's living hell. Uh, God forbid you have a roommate back there. It's not one would think, oh, I have someone to talk to. No, you you will know everything, every detail about that person's life, things you don't even want to know. You you know, there's no space where he has to have crap. Your best bet is to take the sheet and throw it over your head. Good luck with that. Uh, it's you don't get away from that person. It's like just it's it's the equivalent to. You are in a room with a complete stranger who's in prison, and you're in a closet, a walk-in closet with this person for 30, 60, and in his case, nine months. Don't know if he had a roommate, didn't talk about that. My point is, man, it's a, it's a big uh, self-examination, and it's a big, uh, it's a big mindfuck. For him, that's just the average, that's just the normal explanation of it. For him, what, I can, what I'm seeing, uh, even with Noel, as we speak to him on the phone and kind of try to get truth out, uh, is the, the smears on him. I can only imagine the amount of hate for him caused by YouTubers, the letters that he was getting in there, people just writing uh, the nastiest shit. Uh, threats um, just over and over and over. I mean, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. And people, 
calling up the institution. You know, um, it, it's it's sickening because the the COs there they may be familiar with the case because it's locally all over the news there, or maybe they're keeping up with it. I I don't know, but they, if they are, they probably went to YouTube. But people calling up and just informing the COs misinformation just so he gets treated worse. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, nine months in confinement is a hell of a lot of time for any man to do. Any man to do in a normal circumstance. In a normal circumstance. In Florida, you don't normally get nine months in confinement. You go back there for 30 days, for 60 days, for 90 days. Anything more than that, you can get up to six months, depending on what you do as an infraction. Like maybe you can cut with some dope or something inside the joint. You get six months back there. Anything more than that is not normal. What happens is you, you then you're then back there because you're under investigation. So they're trying to figure out something. They know that you're linked to something. They're trying to figure it out as you sit back there and rot. That and anything if you're not under investigation, nine months stay would be CM, closed management. That means. You didn't just get into a fight. You didn't get a tattoo. You didn't disrespect staff. What happens now is you've done something as far as got caught assaulting somebody with a lock, lock in the sock over the head or something. Maybe you got caught stabbing somebody. Now you're closed management. Your entire stay becomes confinement time. You're not gonna. You don't get to count the days and get out in 30 or 45 to get back to general pop, to the TV, to the poker, to the cards, to the canteen, to going outside the rest. No. You don't get to count the days. No, your entire stay. That means you will EOS. You will get. You will serve your remain all your time in confinement, and that is uh, definitely, definitely something that should be outlawed. I have an interview with somebody who had gotten CM before. I'll try to put it in the end screen of this video, just to give you a little bit of what his brain went through. But my thing is here, back to Don, is the guy did nine months in confinement. And that is hard for a normal person. This guy has a missing daughter. It's still active. It's still ongoing. And he's in confinement. It's a lot on someone's head. I'm not sure as far as the situation with his boys, if it was ongoing, if maybe he knew. I don't know what to the I don't know to the extent of what's happening to that, but just the thing with Summer and just the amount of hate on YouTube and people just smearing the man is enough to make one go crazy. Uh, I, I can speak for the man. Uh, Noelle will, if you've heard her lives or whatever she has pre-planned, not sure, but I'm sure she's going to test this herself. He speaks on the Bible a lot. Which absolutely makes sense because that's your only source of reading material when you're back there. That's it. Uh, personally, for me, I have a problem understanding the Bible. Even when you're locked into a closet with nothing to do but that to read, it's still hard for me to comprehend. The Bible is very, is very difficult written. Okay? I had to learn how to understand it back there. He not only knows how to read it and understand it, but he can also almost on each individual phone call we have with the man so far, he can give you a, a Bible verse, quote something of the Bible in each phone call. That's not pretending. Okay? That's not pretending. If you're watching this video, no matter how you feel about Mr. Wells, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the Bible, can you quote more than five Bible verses? I'm just, I'd love to know. Leave it in the comments. I might be able to do three. First of all, it's, um, it, you know, it's just something I wanted to bring attention to people, man, is uh, it takes a strong individual to, to, to go through what he did. It really does. You know, the smears on YouTube are, they're, are bad regarding, regarding Don. They really are. And a lot of them are, 
a lot of them are, are kind of senseless. Like they don't have anything to do with Summer's case or the focus of finding her. I, I just don't understand it. Uh, I mean, I get it. I get the narrative. I get the dramatics, the drawn out. It's like little, little digs at the man and they're blown out and to, to all these different live streams and people reacting off the live stream or this person. It's just like these little stupid dramatics and it's affecting a family who's going through a lot at the end, a lot at the end of the day. You know, you know, one of the uh, smears that, that's um, pretty bad is the timeline. You know, everyone covers Summer Wells. Everyone seems to know the same type of story. As a YouTuber, you pick up clues, you pick up little facts with your community, whether it's a live chat, what, and you try to put together a timeline, you know, a sleuth, if you will. That's normal for people to do, okay? It's normal for people to do, in, in any case. But at the end of the day, nobody has the timeline of Summer Wells on YouTube. Nobody. The only people who have the true timeline of what happened is Don Wells and a FBI agent. That is it. Through multiple meetings. Okay? That's all who has it. When you watch these lives, when you watch these live streams, when you're getting this information, for, especially for the people who have a distaste in their mouth towards the man, why, I asked this a long time ago. Why do you feel like that? Is the information right? No one has the original timeline of that case. Nobody. Don Wells and an FBI agent do. No. I did not ask him about it. Not going to. I don't want to have, I don't want anything to do with that information. No way. It's 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 an FBI agent and the father. It's their business. I'm not putting my nose anywhere near it. But I can tell you that no one has the timeline whatsoever you can go around youtube and see multiple people claiming they do but they don't there's a lot of smears on this family man uh all in all man i don't know even where i'm going with the communication that i have with them um I, i've learned a lot so is noel we talk about it a lot because some of the stuff that said it's really hard to bring to youtube in word to be honest and at the end of the day, it's not going to help the case. It's not. But what we'll do is clear up a lot of smears. You know, um, this one here is difficult. It's, it's simple to stick up for a babysitter who doesn't want anything to do with uh, YouTube. And most people can see that there's one person attacking this innocent person. And it's very, it's very blunt and easy. It's very white and black. It's very cut and dry. But it's another thing to try to do the same thing when there's so much pre-planned and evil, uh, just, just nasty stuff around. You then, then it becomes, how do I help? You know, honestly, how I help the man clear his name out on some of this. And some of the topics are very hard to bring to YouTube. They, they just are. They just are. But that's my plan on what I'm doing here, people. That's my plan. Uh, I don't believe this guy is half of what he's portrayed on some of these hate channels. I'll tell you right now. Um, that's all I got, man, for today. Y'all uh, hit the like and share it, man. Um, be careful, man, with uh, these YouTubers. Be, be, be very, be very careful. I don't care who you subscribe to. I don't. It's if I don't care if you if you support him or you hate him. I'm just here to give you facts and truth and clear smears. It's your job to think for yourself.